What's going on YouTube, Mr. 1013 here with some new news and update about our favorite toy line, G.I. Joe. Now, I, I guess rumors have been circulating around the web, and I was on his tank forums, and they just announced, well, this is still a rumor, that G.I. Joe line will become G.I. Joe Black Series 6-inch line. Right. <laughs> um, this could answer a lot of questions. They're, they're saying the rumor is that at Comic-Con 2015, the exclusive is going to be the introduction to the G.I. Joe 6 inch series called G.I. Joe uh, Black Series or Series Black. Just kind of like the Star Wars uh, 6 inch line. Um, this could be good and um, this could be bad. Depending on how you want to look at it, um, six inch figures are cool. Depending on how much, like the articulation and detail, comes into play, and and um, just in the price tag too. Um, right now we're paying. We well, retaliation was going for like ten, eleven dollars. So we're talking about we get a six inch figure, and then like I said, depends on articulation and detail. We might be spending twenty bucks for these guys. So. I don't know if it's going to be a limited run, or I don't know if the 6-inch series is supposed to just take over, just kind of go a new route, you know, um, and, and with the whole G.I. Joe series. Um, it's it's a lot of questions to be answered. Um, like, I, like I said right now, it's just a rumor. I'll throw the um, link in the description so you guys can check out the forum on um, the thread on his tank. But my thoughts, like I said, it could be good, could be bad. I mean, it could, we can have some... if we. The detail and everything. Say we get like some sideshow kind of <laughs> detail, but or even Pursuit of Cobra type detail put into a six inch figure, it could be pretty dope. I don't know if it will still take over the the, the three and three quarter line, um, or if it's gonna cease to exist anymore. Um, but I mean, I, I personally like the four inch three three and three quarter inch figures. I think they're dope. Um, great with space. But the six inch could also be good too. So a lot of people are like uh, Marvel Legends and the Black Series Star Wars stuff. So um, it could be good. It's an interesting take, but of course we have to see what these guys are going to look like. So um, maybe we might see a sneak peek of some stuff at Toy Fair. That's in February, Comic Con, San Diego. You know, that's not until like July. So um, maybe that's one reason we didn't see anything after the 50th anniversary. But we still got a lot of stuff in that concept case that could possibly hit retail. Or possibly hit uh, e-tailers or whatever. So um, it, it's a lot of stuff. It's a, it's a big gap between now and then. Um, FSS 3.0 stuff is going to start coming out um, in the next month. Or hopefully they sneak it in maybe middle of next month. But we're almost at the end of October anyway. So we almost got less than a month away before we start receiving the figure subscriptions if you subscribe. Or you can just... Um, get them secondhand off each others but uh, again blacklist gi joe black series not blacklist gi joe black series san diego comic-con 2015 snake eyes and timber are supposed to be the exclusive so keep your eyes out you know i keep my um, eyes out for this uh as well if i hear some information you know i'll post it for you guys got some more reviews coming also got some more commission work um coming it's, it's gonna be some dope figures i can't wait till i get him in i just put him in he says it's gonna take him about a week uh to three weeks it's the same guy who did my um um who did the jinx that i reviewed um a couple days ago but again what do you think gi joe going into a six inch a lot of people were saying that it'd be a good idea it seems like it's going to become true stay tuned to the rumor mill mr 1013 now like subscribe share the video peace